Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. Today the explorers ascend to new heights and taste local delights. Prepare for sunny weather as the sun has got its hat on. And so has poor Cal to hide his new haircut. So we have made it, hopefully, to our camp spot for the night. We are in a village with a population of only 90, and it is... Hedgebington. (laughs) Hedgebington. Yes. Looks like a really nice picturesque area. And I think we might go for a little jaunt. Yeah. Um, Have a look what's around the local area. Feel quite comfortable here, to be honest, which is always nice. Um, I think we can stay. It says camp is welcome. It's one of the little spots on our app. You know, something I've just realised that is rather quite sad is that with a population of only 90, I've definitely got the worst haircut in this village. <laughs> you sort it out later. You can't sort this out. <laughs> oh, we laugh, don't we? At least it's not going on the internet for a few people to see. Ba ba ba. We explored the 12th century church, which is sat upon a 29-foot turp. This protected it from storms and floods before the dikes were built. This is now the tallest turp in the Netherlands. The surroundings were rural and green, and a haven for walkers and cyclists. We later retired to bed. Good morning. Uh, Rate your sleep out of 10. Six. Six. Oh, I know why. It's not a ten because we let in a few mosquitoes last night and for some reason they much prefer Meg than me. I think, uh... What? What? I'm tasty! <laughs> Apparently Meg's, Meg's too tasty. Um... You should know! <laughs> so, generally we slept well so it's time to move on from our park up. We actually woke up relatively early, we've had our coffee and we're going to head into Dockham which is another town slash... It's one of the 11 cities of Friesland. How many times do I tell you? With waterfalls. So maybe we'll see some tigers or... No, I've that. said it. It's better. Than, it's uh, I, better think than they, I think they were shortchanged back in Workham. <laughs> I may know it, bless them. <laughs> but no, uh, this was a lovely little spot um, next to an information centre, so we kind of want to move before that opens. We don't want to feel in the way, but uh, it does say camp is welcome, and we've had no hassle whatsoever here. It's a lovely little village, well out of the way, and it's a shame to move on, but that's, uh, that's what we have to But this is going to be our backup option for tonight, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be relatively close. If we can't find anything else nearby or we're not feeling where we are, then we can come back here for another night. I've, I've quite enjoyed it, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, that's us. Um, probably won't film the drive again because it's about 16 minutes. Oh, you remembered that well, yeah. Yeah. We're going to just pack up the van because it's a little bit of a mess and get on our merry way. We have made it to Dockham and we have found one of the windmills already. It's on the other side. And we have found one (laughs) of the windmills already. Dockham is a fortified town surrounded by canals. They have a very novel way of collecting the bridge toll via a fishing rod with a brightly coloured wooden clog on the end. We walked around the perimeter of the town before heading into the centre. Unfortunately, we forgot to have breakfast this morning, so we walked past a bakery and found these bad boys, and we could not resist. I've gone for a hazelnut cream cake. It's coffee time. I've had some for breakfast in liquid form, but now it's time to have a solid coffee because you can never have too much to keep it going. (laughs) That was not what I was expecting inside. (laughs) I'm not disappointed. I've got a fairly sweet tooth, but I'm struggling with this. (laughs) My my gluttony has got the better of me. It's, uh, It's a big portion for one. Dockham's ice fountain is covered in a layer of copper and freezes differently every day depending on the elements. It is powered by solar. 
We saw it on a very warm day. It had ice forming only in its shadows. That's why I wrote you a letter Cause you see I write so much better than I speak And I need to tell you You were my best friend We're in the windmill We're just doing a bit of impromptu uh, translation to see if we're allowed to go upstairs. I have, success <laughs> <laughs> I have successfully translated and we are allowed to go up. But when you come down, you take priority coming down. Okay. You, when you come down falling, you mean you're going to take priority. <laughs> Good luck. I'll wait for you down here. <laughs> really? No, I'll come up. In 1652 there were five windmills in Dockham. This one was built in 1862 and processed corn and barley. We were allowed to explore ascending up two floors and onto the balcony. And quite surprisingly we find ourselves quite high in the middle of Dockham. Oh, yeah. I forgot the name as soon as I started to speak again. And the mill inside is amazing. It smells like Grandad Kenny's shed. <laughs> For you at home that know who Grandad Kenny is. Fantastic view. Yeah. And really, you had a bit of vertigo walking out of the yeah, door, Yeah, as you? soon as I walked out and I realised I could see the floor. I never used to be such a wimp, but this, <laughs> as I get older, I'm just becoming so scared of everything. <laughs> I'm all right up here. I don't have Virgo, but I just felt be like, oh god. Yeah, and we've done the skydive. We headed up one more ladder right to the top, and then we descended back down and walked along the canals and cobbled streets, finding a place to try the renowned coffee. So this is a Dockham coffee. It has a Vienberg liqueur in it and it's topped with whipped cream. And we have been told that we should definitely try it. Don't just eat the cream. <laughs> just know it might be quite hot. <laughs> Mm. That's nice. Yeah. It tastes like an Irish coffee at the moment, or a Bailey's, a Bailey's coffee. But I get all, all I'm getting is a lip full of cream at the moment. I'm just glad to be inside because it was getting extremely hot outside, and I cannot take this bloody hat off. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> strong. Mm. It hit me right in the back of the throat. <laughs> that nearly went over the laptop. Mm. Bit different. It's time for a bit of lunch. We've picked another decent spot, I think. Yep. Epic lunch spot. Our first of the European adventure selection. Yeah. Not a bad one. It's very different, but it's up there, isn't it? Yeah. So, with our budget, we have to be quite strict on ourselves, don't we? Mm -hmm. So, the bread that I bought yesterday has gone a bit stale. So I've left that for toast in the van. So in a little tub, I put some cheese, some ham, some tomato and some rocket. And I've got some um, tomato tapenade that I bought from the shop that we had a bit of yesterday. So we've bought that with us, with a knife. And where we bought our meringue cupcakes from, we bought two very nice bread rolls. And that is lunch today. So we've had a lovely afternoon in Dockham. We have spent the afternoon pretty much at a Wi-Fi cafe, catching up on things, trying that coffee, and we've just walked over the wooden bridge and we can see Flora and there's something red on the windscreen and we're really hoping it's not a parking ticket. So you'll be with us live right now as we walk over and see what 
It is. There's some on other people's cars. I'm hoping it's a leaflet drop and my fingers are crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed? I don't even know what we have to do. What do we do to pay online? It might not be that. Come on. Gotta find out. I've never been so relieved to see a leaflet in my life. Are we going? What is it? Hun Whipperock. I don't know. Drinking. Well, it could have been worse. Oh, I'm so glad that that's that. We got back in the van and headed to Groningen to find a motor home stop. The brightest sky I have ever seen. So we've made it to the spot. It is very busy and we are just in the car park slightly down from where we're supposed to be camping. So we're kind of hoping that we're not going to get in trouble. Um, it isn't anything special, um, but it will do for the night and we'll move on again tomorrow. We've had a lovely day in Dockham and I'm going to cook some tea and I'll show you what we have at the end. But it's nothing really special, it is carbonara in a jar with a bit of cheese and I might put some veggies in it. Join us next time as our travels take us to the north coast of the Netherlands. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.